babies born out of wedlock or born deformed are being thrown away and left to die until one pastor from South Korea stepped in. He became a father to the fatherless. He literally built a space in the front of his house for people to leave these abandoned babies and then he finds them homes or he makes his home theirs. When our next guest heard about Pastor Lee, he wanted to do his part in bringing awareness to the situation, so he created the film, The Dropbox. Take a look. 수사랑 공동체 교회와 수사랑 공동체 담임 목사 이종락 목사입니다. 이 문제가 한국만의 문제가 아니고 이제는 아마 세계적으로 이 아이들이 이렇게 박혀 버려서 희생당한 아이들이 많으니까 이 대박세가 생기고 아이를. and creator of the movie, The Dropbox, Mr. Brian Ivey. Yes, welcome. So happy to have you here. Brian, so tell us, why did you decide to make this documentary? Well, I actually heard about Pastor Lee over my breakfast cereal. I was reading a newspaper article about this man who had built what looked to me like a mailbox for abandoned babies. Uh -huh. So I was a film student at USC at the time and decided to send an email to Pastor Lee. I wanted to make a movie about his life because the idea kind of haunted me that this had to exist in our world. Yeah. And so I sent an email and I, a month later I got an email back from him, and clearly a Google translated email. And it said this, Dear Brian, I don't know what it means to make a documentary film about my life, but you can come live with me if you want. Oh. And uh, wow. so I said, see you soon. And ended up flying out there to start making this film about the man who built the mailbox for abandoned babies. Wow. wow. It was taking you in too. Wow, you had so much. That's so, that's so extraordinary. So I heard you, it only took you two weeks to do this film? How were you able to pull that off? So yeah, we went out there during my Christmas break mm. and uh, school, because that's all I could afford to do. <laughs> uh, and uh, we went out there, and at the time, there were a lot of kids being left in the box. But actually, to date, um, there have been over 650 children Ooh, that have wow. dropped off. And um, he takes in the ones that are the most disposable, quote unquote, that have, ha have the worst disabilities and deformities of all. And those are the ones that he takes in. And it was meant to be just a 10-minute short film. Wow. But now it's an 80 minute feature that has recently made over $3 million at the box office. Oh, wow. And awesome. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> now, when you went over there and you, you stayed with him, yeah. how has Pastor Lee changed your life? Wow. Well, um, <laughs> that's the million dollar question. Um, because I went over there in December 2011 to help this man save some Korean babies, and I had no idea that God was going to save me. Right, oh how about goodness. that? Wow. Will he make a way? I don't know what. Hmm. We got to tell wow. him. Wow. Elaborate for Yeah, him. well, um, to be honest, I thought I was a Christian before oh. I went over there. It was kind of the thing I just put on myself to say, well, I'm not this, so probably this. You know, that's how I grew up. Mm -hmm. But Christianity, as I came to see it in this metaphor that I saw with this man and these kids, is coming to the realization that you need to be saved. Huh. Because uh, in terms of living forever, hmm. We're all helpless, just like kids on the street. And so I saw my spiritual brokenness and their physical brokenness. Uh -huh. I saw God's love and this pastor who was picking them up wow. off the street and bringing them home. And my soul came home. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. So. That is oh, so so Hallelujah. Do you and Pastor wow. Lee keep in touch? I definitely keep in touch with Pastor Lee. He's like my spiritual father. He says he has 19 children. Uh, I say he has 20 because I'm his son. Yeah, oh, I, heard I that. love that. I love and, that. And uh, every time I come there, he always uh, he takes a bath right before I get there. Uh -huh. And he does his hair, gets a haircut. He always asks me how it looks and things. And you know, I have to lie and say, it looks really good, you know. Um, <laughs> but uh, he's, he really is a father to me. And the only words he's ever been able to say to me in English are coffee and I love you. Oh, I love that. That's that's all that. that's I love that. Now that the film has been completed, what's next for you? Well, uh, marriage is next. Really? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I get married in June. I wear this just to let all the ladies know I'm spoken for. Oh. <laughs> Look out. I love you. You done found the Lord and a woman. <laughs> See? Yes, I'm yes, That's Amazing. why I ain't say nothing to you. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, Brian, we all love what you're doing. So we wanted to say thank you for caring and bringing such an important issue to awareness and bringing yourself to light. So you are definitely here at the show and in the world, the real deal. That is right. <laughs> Brian, we want to thank you so much for being with us today and for making a film like The Dropbox. 